Hi everybody, happy Thursday. Welcome to daily challenge number 24. So if you've been following along this week, you know that in ELA, we are going through the writing process. So on Monday, you did a pre-write of a fiction piece of writing. On Tuesday, you wrote a draft for your piece. Uh, yesterday, Wednesday, you revised it. So you added and subtracted sentences and paragraphs and you move things around to make it make more sense. Well, today, Thursday, you're going to be editing. Now, revise and edit are two different things. In revise, we're making these big major changes. We might be moving around whole sentences and whole paragraphs to make our story make more sense and to make it flow better. When we get to the editing phase, our structure of our story is pretty solid. Now we're looking for things like spelling, grammar, capital letters, punctuation, and word choice. Now, here's an example of what I mean by word choice. Here's a simple sentence. Hello, Harry said. Instead of this word said, I could use better, more descriptive words like, hello, Harry exclaimed, shouted, mumbled, squeaked, or whispered. I'm gonna look for areas in my writing where I can trade in words like said for better, more descriptive words. This week's focus in math is to review ways to multiply. The last two days we really focused on two digit by one digit multiplication. Today we're gonna to focus on two digit by two digit multiplication. I'm gonna start by giving you an example of this standard algorithm. This is my original problem. I'm gonna write it like this, just like I would write an addition or a subtraction problem. My first step, and again, I'm gonna use different colors for different steps so you can see when I do what. I'm gonna use black for this step, and I'm gonna multiply this digit six by the number 42. So just like I would multiply a one digit number by a two digit number, I'm gonna multiply six times two is 12. And then I do six times four is 24, but I have to add in this one. Remember I was saving it for later. So six and four is 24, add one more is 25. And I'm done with that step. So I've now multiplied six times 42. Now I have to go back and I have to multiply 30 by 42, because remember, this is not just a three, this is a 30. The way that I show that I know that I'm multiplying by 30, not just three, is I put my placeholder zero right below the ones place. And then I start the process again. Three times two gives me six. Nothing to carry over in green. I'm ignoring the one that I carried over earlier. That was from the last step. I don't need it anymore. Three times four gives me 12. I have nowhere to carry over. So I'm just gonna write that 12 down here, being very careful to line up my numbers the right way. And then finally, I'm going to add my two numbers that I have. Two and zero is two. Five and six is 11. Two and two is four plus one more is five. And one plus nothing is one. So I end up with 1,512. Now I'm going to show you the box method of multiplication for two digit by two digit numbers very similar to the box method for um, two digit by one digit, there's just gonna be a few more boxes. So again, I'm gonna set up the problem using blue. Most important to make sure that you're setting up your problem correctly. So with a two digit by two digit number, I need two boxes across, I need two boxes down. So I will have a total of four boxes here. And then I got to break down those numbers. 42 is 40 and 2. 36 is 30 and 6. And now I can start in on my step one. I've set up the whole problem 
Now I'm going to start multiplying. Remember, just like we did with one digit by two digit multiplication, in a box, you're going to multiply the number on top by the number on the side. First, I have to multiply 40 times 30. Well, I know what four times three is. Four times three is 12. But I also have to multiply that again by 10 and by 10 again, because I wasn't just multiplying four, four times three, I'm multiplying 40 by 30. So I have to make sure that I'm keeping track of which numbers I'm multiplying. Next, I'll multiply 40 by six. It does not matter which boxes you choose first, as long as you get them all done. 40 times six is gonna give me 240. 30 times two in this box is gonna give me 60. And six times two in this box is gonna give me 12. Now, that's it for the hard part. That's it for multiplying. Now, what we're going to do, step two, is we're gonna take all those numbers that we just got from multiplying all those products and we're gonna add them up down below. Be very careful, again, to line your numbers up correctly. Ones place all together, tens place all together, hundreds place all together. So I have 1,200, I have 240, I have 60, and I have 12. And just like I would add normally, I'm gonna add these numbers together. So first I add all the numbers in the ones place. Zero, 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 and two is two. In the tens place, six and four is 10, plus one more is 11. In the hundreds place, two and two is four, plus one more is five. And in the thousands place, one and nothing is one. As you notice, both ways get me the same answer. Remember, again, it is not about how quickly you get the answer, but that you understand the process. So you should be choosing whichever one makes the most sense to you. So for math today, practice two digit by two digit multiplication by doing five to 10 two digit by two digit problems in your notebook. You can make them up or you can have a parent or older brother or sister make them up. So the bonus challenge for today is another journal prompt. I want you to describe or draw the perfect pet in your notebook. That's it for daily challenge number 24. I will see you tomorrow. As always, be safe, have fun, and listen to your parents.